Hi there, Cinder Lily Quinn here with another How to Practice Your Harp. And um, there are my dogs, they're just uh, traveling through in the background. And I wanted to give you a warm up uh, before we even sit down at the harp. So go ahead and stand up away from your harp. We're just going to do a very short little warm up here. Turn this up this way. Let's see, there we go. All right. So, ah, so we think we just play the harp with our hands. Maybe we get to the point where we think about playing with our arms, but the fact is we play with our whole body. So take a breath in and reach up and let it out. And breathe in and let it out. And breathe in. And let it out. And one more time, breathe in. And now we're going to go to the side. And breathe in. Go to the side. And breathe in. Go to the other side again. And breathe in. Good. One more time. Breathe in. This is going to lean back, but keep your neck steady. You're not looking up. You're looking forward and out. Breathe in. And reach over, rounding your back. Not reaching for your toes so much as just rounding your back. Yeah. And then up. Good. Let's just twist. Look over your shoulder. This is really good to do about every 20 minutes after, if you're practicing for long sessions with a stretch, as well as at the beginning. And then we're going to bounce up and down on your toes. I don't know if I can show you my feet, if I can get back far enough, or you can see, oh yeah, here you can see what I'm doing. So I'm bouncing up and down on my toes and everything else I'm just letting jiggle. <laughs> and then you can jiggle your hips a little bit with this. Just lubricating the joints and getting everything kind of loosened up. All right, now we're onto the hands. Shake your hands. Woo! Like you're shaking water off your hands. And you can do it this way. Noodly hands. Circles, go the other way, good, and then rub your hands together, we're just to stretch the fingers just a little bit, yeah, stretch the fingers and then you can do this and then press them this way, and down, and up, up together like that. Oh, this stretching the shoulders out a little bit and stretching the fingers out a little bit. All right. Now you're ready to sit down and do your exercises. To my How to Practice series, you know, if you've taken lessons from me or any other teacher and then you, you've had a great lesson, you're all excited, and then the next day you're like, well, what am I supposed to do? I'm going to offer you my practice strategy that I use myself and I use with um, my students. It's four parts. Start off with some uh, physical warm ups, which I'll show you in a second, and then do some technical warm ups, hand warm ups, and then um, get into uh, parts of a song, which I'm not going to do in this video, and then you know working on an entire piece. But that's the four four parts of the of the um, practice session that I recommend to everybody. And so I'm just going to do the first two parts with you today. We're going to do some stretching and some warm up and getting to the harp, and then I am gradually working my way through. One of my favorite exercise books, Deborah for You, Harp Exercises for Agility and Speed. Yours probably doesn't come with a kitty. That's a sticker that some one of my students stuck on there somewhere along the way, and it's so cute I've just left it. So in my last video, uh, we started working on the right hand here in the thirds and the left hand here in the thirds. I like to do, even though she's written them all, right hand, all left hand, I like to do both hands uh, at the same time. So today we're going to take a look at some of these other exercises here and see how far we get. Uh, today I'm playing on my pedal harp. 
Joe the Lion and Healy 85E. And uh, my my lever harp is still, I just changed the string and it still sounds a little boingy. So today, pedal harp, key of C. And I'm looking at the second line on page one here of the two note chords, and we're gonna work on the fifths. So fifths are traditionally played with the thumb, which is the number one finger, and the three finger, which is the middle finger here on your hand. And then, uh, and then the hands will, uh, then you play these notes together. So on the harp, there are some, I'm not, as a teacher, I'm not like too picky about some things, but hand position is one of the things that I really feel strongly about. So uh, I feel like the most effective way to play these fifths is with the thumb up high and then the middle finger on the, the lower string and then three, four, and the pinky all glued together, like super glued together. I um, sometimes have my students put a rubber band uh, loosely around these fingers so that they will move together like this. And remembering that the resting position when you're not, when your hand is closed is like this. So how do we get from this three fingers? This is how a lot of people start or they'll do this. But if you start from here, getting to here is a really long distance and you're likely to make some mistake in here. Similarly here, if you've got what I call the knotty knuckle, that when you're playing your thirds, again, it takes a long time for this knuckle to unfold and move down into the palm. So a lot of people just skip that and go straight to knotty knuckle on their fingers up here. But what I really encourage you to do is to think about your hand as a cup that is pointed at the soundboard, and then you're going to just split open the cup just a little bit, but it's still got the cup shape in your hand, and the three fingers here, and the, the, the index finger is dangling down so that it can quickly close into the resting position of the hand. The rest, and so the resting position is with the fingers pointed at the soundboard. I'm turning it this way just so you can see, oops, see what I'm doing. Not my fist, but like this. Okay, so let's get started with the fists then. So you've got your dangly uh, index finger, the other three fingers are traveling together, thumb is up high, and we're gonna do it very slowly because you want to make sure that you close completely between each one, get your hand to that resting position. We want that to become an automatic place that your hand wants to go to is this closed soft resting position and then all the way up here i'm doing very slow half notes here this is line two whoopsie let me try that again starting again here uh coming back down and right now this is what i recommend you do as well is just do it slowly and just read the notes make sure you know where you are on the harp and you know what's going on and then we'll put it on a metronome in just a second. So one of the things that I recommend that you do if you're new to this position, this fifth position, is squeeze your strings. You can squeeze them quite hard without affecting the tuning of the harp. So you're beginning to teach your hand this hand position. Then bring your hand very, ever so gently away from the strings and then put them back on and squeeze and then move your hand a little bit further away, trying to keep, hold that hand position and come back in and squeeze. And then you, as you get more brave, more brave, if you get braver, then you're gonna go further away, further away, further away, further away, come back. And then it, um, eventually you wanna be able to do it without looking. I'm looking at my camera, so I'm cheating just a little bit, but you wanna be able to really be able to look at your music and know what a fifth feels like. So you can do this, yeah. And then also um, you can, so going back and forth like this is sort of the first step to doing this, but you're moving back and forth in and out of the strings. But if you really want a you know, degree of difficulty, rest your hand on your soundboard. Now your hand is completely not in that position, nowhere near a position. And then can you come back and find that position and then squeeze the strings again? This is gradually, gradually uh, teaching your fingers to know this position. And this position gets used a lot in lots of harp music, so it's worth doing this. All right, so let's uh, get out the metronome. Should have prepared that bag. There we go.
So basic metronome, you can use whatever you like metronome-wise. This is just a battery powered one. And I'm gonna do half notes here. So maybe, eight, I think 80, we'll see. Yeah, that's good. So, okay. so for 80, this metronome happens to have a couple of different tones. I like that one better, but you can also just make it blink. If you don't, if you're in an environment where the sound isn't working, you can also plug in uh, earphones here so that it goes directly into your ear and then you can turn it way down. Um, there's a volume control on here somewhere, or maybe not. I don't know. Okay. Okay, so here we go. This is line two, page one. One, two, ready, go. One. That's too fast you can go slower on your own um, and in fact I am gonna go slower I'm gonna go a whole lot slower I'm gonna go 60 because uh, it's good to do it at all different speeds your hands will learn to be comfortable no matter what the speed it is it doesn't matter the speed so here's 60 quite a bit slower one two Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, and the dancing for one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. Okay, great. So uh, doing it very slowly gives you the opportunity to really think in between the notes and uh, to really study your hands. That's this is the, these, these exercises that I'm going to do over this series are meant for you to really study your hands, really look at your hands, because the music isn't complicated. Once you learn the pattern, you really don't need to read it anymore. And really look at your hands. These are engineering marvels, especially this amazing things we can do with our hands. So I want you to start to become aware of them and, and to like love them. Okay, so let's take a look uh, down at the bottom of the page here in exercise number two, the second line of that is the exact same thing with the fifths, but it's gonna be with the left hand. So again, just showing you my approach, I'm gonna read through this first, not with a metronome, not with any counting or anything in mind, just making sure that I able to read it and I know what's going on in the exercise. So this follows the same pattern as an octave lower and I'm going to... It's a harder to see what's happening with my left hand because it's backwards to you, but ideally you're doing the same thing as you're doing with Alright, so now let's do it at 60, the slow one, and then we'll do the fast one again. So fingers on the strings, this is the left hand. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. So now let's do it faster. So I'm going to change my metronome back to 80 because it's good to be able to do it, do these kinds of things at different speeds. And as you get more confident, you can go faster. But always remember to go slower too. Okay, so here's 80. Down here. 
And take your time getting started. Just because the metronome is running doesn't mean you have to race to start. We'll just let it run in the background. It's not going to stop till you turn it off and take a breath. Okay, here we go. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three. Last thing I'm going to do is we'll do both hands together. I recommend you go a lot slower. Let's start at 60 and see if that's slow enough. I'm going to go even slower, actually. I'm going to go 50 uh, in tempo land. That's called Largo. Very slow and relaxed. Okay, so this is not written on page one. I'm making this up out of this. Uh, these exercises here. So you're going to place both hands on the fifths and we're going to play um, all the way up and all the way down. So here we go. One, two, ready, go. One, mistake. Even teachers make mistakes. I played those as quarter notes and they should be played as half notes. So let me try that again. So one, two, ready, go. One, two, I hope that gives you a good workout for the day, and I'm really happy to be here with you. Hope to see you at the next series.